the following moles questions about moles and mass and finding the number of particles uh, so the question reads that nickel makes up 20 percent of total mass of a coin so the coin has a mass of 10 grams so you have uh, the coin has a mass of 10 grams 20 percent of which is nickel so so that means 20 percent of 10 grams 20 percent of 10 grams is if you do your calculation it's going to be 2 grams so 2 grams nickel the coin contains 2 grams nickel now the question states how many nickel atoms are there in the coin so so the coin only has 2 grams of nickel and if you're given mass you can find the moles and if you find moles moles would be mass 2 grams divided by the atomic mass of nickel which is uh, approximately 58 point Seven. So if I do my calculations on my calculator, it's going to be 2 divided by 58.7 and this gives me 0 0.0341 moles to be exact, to be very precise, 0 0.034 and 1 mole according to three significant figures. Now the next part is I need to find the number of particles. So I know that 1 mole is basically equal to when I have one mole that's equal to 6.02 into 10 raised to the power of 23 atoms of nickel. So if I have 0 0.034 one mole so I can use the unitary method and find the number of particles that's the unknown and I'm going to cross multiply them. So the number of particles of nickel or atoms of nickel would be equal to would be equal to the moles which is 0 0.0341 multiplied by the Avogadro's number which is 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 and I'm going to do this calculation on my calculator it's going to be 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 and this comes out to be equal to 2.05 into 10 raised to the power 22 so that's according to three significant figures and so which is why option A is going to be the correct option for this question.